Hey, I'm Carl Ford, and we are at WebRTC Conference and Expo in Atlanta, and we're having a lot of fun here. And we're talking to Jennifer Sherman. We don't think any relationship to Tecumseh, so people in Atlanta don't yell at her. And we're talking about Aptian, and you guys have a tagline where software works, and that has a double, lots of puns associated with it because of the fact that your software works on projects, right? It's associated with working stuff and manufacturing and development and that kind of stuff. And you've got a few customers you want to talk to me about. Let's start with my namesake, the Fords, okay? So tell me what you guys do for Ford. Excellent. I mean, and as to your point, the the moniker where software works really speaks to how our software is in the hands of the individual contributors, right? The guys on the plant floor getting the, the products made, the guys in the call center taking calls, the salespeople out on the street driving deals. Now at Ford, in particular, we're used on the manufacturing floor. It is Aptian that is the interface between the machines that are doing the work and the systems that are tracking that output, that's that uh, quality, the production, and uh, the human use. So there's some business intelligence going on on how inventory is being managed. It, it's our attempts to be more Japanese-like with the, all the just-in-time manufacturing and that kind of stuff associated with it. Now, I understand all that. Now, does that really relate to the Cheesecake Factory as well? How does the Cheesecake Factory use your guys' stuff? Different application. There we're talking about our Ross Process Manufacturing Solution, largely used in the food and beverage space. And there we are doing really soup to nuts production, inventory control, order management. We are tracking cheesecakes. We are tracking eggs in, cream cheese in, butter in, and delicious cakes out. Okay, so now we've got all that stuff. This is great that you're interviewing me. <laughs> now, here's, here's the next question for you. There's another one that you're doing in the financial marketplace, and we've already offended Atlanta in the fact that uh, we've used the name Sherman, and we've used the name Ford, and we're um, sitting here now about to mention a company other than SunTrust. So who's the bank that you work with? Um, in the financial services sector, we actually work with quite a few. The one you're probably thinking of is Citizens Bank, who've rolled out our Respond product as part of their transformation of how they view customers and the customer experience, right? Uh, Citizens Bank really tells an amazing story of going from a very remarkably low customer service rating to one of the best in the industry by really embracing customer service and, and customer experience and customer customer feedback across all layers of their organization. But most notably by using our product, the Respond product, to track um, incoming complaints and issues, how well they're doing against it, benchmark against how long it is taking them to resolve those issues, but also to ensure that they're really identifying the appropriate root cause and taking care of the root issue that caused that customer problem in the first place. Oh, you sound like a Philip Crosby graduate. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. Now, so, so far we've had, um, Things that work with the factory floor, things that work on bringing the materials in supply chain, and we now have customer care. But tell me how you guys get engaged initially. I mean, are you your own sales force and you've got a premise sales force that go out to the big fortune companies to talk to them? Typically, what's the engagement like? Um, frankly, that as well as a partner sell, and I think it really depends from industry to industry. So in the CRM space in particular, we have partners who cater to very specific micro verticals. If you want to have a conversation about point of sale solutions in Asia, we've got a partner for that. If you want to have a conversation about complex configure to order manufacturing sales processes in Europe, we've got a partner for that. Um, if you want to talk about uh, CRM in a B2B financial services conversation, say Farm Credit America, there it's going to be our direct sales force because that's where we've got strength, that's where we've got expertise, and that's where we've got a built-in solution in addition to the partner-built solutions in other spaces. Okay, so last but not least, give me my mic back. Last but not least, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, you've got all this ubiquity around the world. I understand you do a lot of coding in HTML5. You want to talk about that at all? Right. In the CRM space, we really believe that um, you know, no sales guy gets paid to use their CRM solution. They're paid to sell stuff. Um, and so they're not going to use that CRM solution unless it is part of a completely immersive user experience, unless it includes everything that they need to do their job. Right? Every time that I, as a salesperson, have to leave the application to go into Outlook or to go into SharePoint to get some file, I'm less likely to come back. And so for us, we need to build a user experience that includes all of those elements. It has access to your calendar, to your email, to your task list, to all of your files in one place it, that is consistent with the rest of your 
your selling experience. It also shows you your pipeline and your to-dos. And so what we're doing is rewriting our user interface from the ground up to ensure an immersive user experience from a sales force so that you've got a one-stop shop for your entire um, workload for the day. So whatever device they want to use, whether it's phone, tablet, or PC, right? who knows, maybe one day television screen. Your you Google Glasses. <laughs> We won't, we won't talk about Google Goggles. Anyway, we really appreciate this time. Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank you.